so while describing or while analyzing these decelerations we should know and we should understand how is the onset how is the nadir how is the recovery so we we'll look at the types of decelerations which include early late and variable decelerations so while describing or while analyzing these decelerations we should know and we should understand how is the onset how is the nadir how is the recovery and what is the speed of decrease and return of fetal heart rate what is the etiology and we'll also look at some special points so early decelerations are basically because of the compression of head and these happen during uterine contractions and these are pretty normal so so the onset nadir and recovery is like onset is at the beginning peak and end of the contraction while in late decelerations it's slightly late so the onset is after the beginning the peak and the end of contraction that is the onset nadir and recovery let occur a little late while in variable it can happen any time so variable is due to quad compression so next important point and from mcq point of view what is the speed of decrease and return uh, of fetal heart rate in early late and variable decelerations so in early decelerations the speed of decrease and return is gradual in late decelerations it is also gradual and in variable it is very very abrupt so gradual means it is more than 30 seconds and the shape is uniform we'll see it in the next slide while in late also it is gradual and the shape is uniform while in abrupt it can it is just variable in shape it can happen in less than 30 seconds the etiology of early deceleration is head compression that is normal late deceleration is not a good sign it can happen because of maternal placental or fetal compromise variable decelerations are because of cord compression so some special points early decelerations are absolutely fine normal and reassuring late decelerations even a fall of 10 to 20 beats per minute even if still within 110 to 160 beats per minute is significant while in variable if it is significant if fetal heart rate falls to below 60 beats per minute or they are lasting for 60 seconds or more or both well that is associated with poor outcome reiterating the same thing types of decelerations include early late and variable early onset nadir and recovery is at the beginning peak and end of contraction it has gradual decrease and return of fetal heart rate it takes more than 30 seconds it occurs due to head compression normally in late onset nadir and recovery after the beginning peak and end of contraction gradual decrease gradual return lasting more than 30 seconds occur due to maternal placental and fetal compromise even a fall of 10 to 20 beats per minute even if it is still within 110 to 160 range is significant variable again onset now the recovery are variable abrupt decrease and return uh, which happens in less than 30 seconds it occurs due to cord compression and it is significant if heart rate falls significantly that is to below 60 beats per minute lasting for more than 60 seconds or both or associated with poor beat to beat variability or if it is associated with late decelerations why i am spending so much time on this because you know often on questions are asked in almost every entrance regarding these points so here is the similar figure is also given in standard textbooks of pediatrics here you can see the shape is uniform and while the variable deceleration the shape is you know very very unpredictable and the recovery time and fall is actually very very sudden